Dude, what are they doing? They're standing here, not even doing their job. They're like barely moving. Do your job. What am I paying you for? Come on, come on. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a, another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be, I guess, like playing slash showing you guys the game called My Restaurant. Came out on Roblox about last week i believe but it's by big games if you guys know who that is i think we all know who big games is they made pet sim they made big paintball so they're pretty well known and popular but they made a restaurant game called my restaurant i've always loved the restaurant type of games on any platform i played it played all kinds of them and for roblox there was this one i was playing called restaurant tycoon but this one I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm gonna say takes the cake, and here's why. So one thing I immediately loved about the game when I first joined was when I went to the shop, and you know, the big shop is where you buy all your stoves, furniture, everything that you need for your restaurant, and they have different stoves, and that's what I love. They have different sinks and different stoves. And like I said, this game just came out. So this concept that they're doing is what I love so much. It's amazing, the fact that they're letting you upgrade from stoves, you know, upgrade to better dishwashers. I'm, and I'm just excited for the game in general because if this is the idea of it, they're probably gonna release a lot, you know, more similar to this. So I started this game yesterday. I'm gonna show you guys yesterday's worth of progress. And I'll show you guys right now. Ooh, a celebrity customer has entered your restaurant. Yo, yo, is it Kanye West? He's running for president now. Oh, no, it isn't. It isn't, never mind. So I started yesterday. And a lot, I've already had people come up to me and say, Doge, how are you so OP? Doge, how do you get good at this game? Doge, you started yesterday and you're at seven floors. Well, you see it. I don't have a life. Okay. Uh, besides the point, that could be a a part, you know, a good reason on why I'm so OP. But if you also don't have a life, I got you. I'm gonna show you what I've done, or I guess explain because you know I already did it. But yeah, so this is my progress, and uh, this I think it's two days actually. I've been on this game, seven floors so far. The max is nine. They'll just clutter a bunch of and Then with the ovens and the stoves and everything or the washers, I recommend you start with it. I made I'm making my way up. So I went from, you know, the regular stove to the better stove. To the stainless stove and then same with the sinks i say the double sink double sink and the uh, better stove are the way to go like when you're starting out so i would buy just like a bunch of those and here i am going to show you i uh, opened this up on an alt account how to start out or at least how i started out i'm gonna explain it as fast as i can but if you want me to make a full in-depth video on how i started out just let me know in the comments so you can skip the tutorial if you want, if you haven't, if you know, if you're first time playing this game or watching my video, you know, you don't need it. So you're, all you have to do, I guess the uh, easy of the game, how you start out, help the customer, press E, he's going to wait to, you have to wait for him to order. Once he orders, you're going to make, so yeah, right now you have no staff. So for the first, I'd say like 30 minutes, you're going to be doing, you know, some of the work and then you're going to start making money and then you can hire staff which is like i said when you make the money you're going to get more customers 
the more chairs and tables you have. So as you can see, I have those two empty tables over here. Have customers come in, boom, yeah. So basically the concept is the more chairs and tables, the more customers you can serve. So that's what you want to do. So that's how I did. I filled up my first floor with the cheapest wood chairs and wood tables. And then, boom, I started profiting off it. And then, as you can see on my first floor, I kind of redesigned it a bit. But you don't have to worry about that. That was just something I wanted to do. I wanted to make it look good, but you don't have to do that. You can make it look cluttered if you're just trying to make money real quick. Like I said, that's what everybody's doing. And then they're gonna redesign it later. One of the important things over here is the gumball machine and the, you know, the jewelry case. With the gumball machine, customers will have a chance to buy one, so that's just more money. But, so you can, you, you can probably go for this to start out, but I would start going for this later because it increases your chances for celebrity customers, which you want, because they're actually harder than I thought, because before I bought, all the ones I have right now, I think I served like four celebrities. And then I'll show you how many I have right now. I have, I have all those, I have those ones over there. I have those ones over there. And I just have those gumball machines over there. Yeah, I basically have them on every, not every floor, but the majority of them. Yep, here's a bunch in here. And like I said, all of this is going to look way better once I have money. Once I'm maxed out, have all the floors, and I'm rolling in money to where I can like afford to redesign everything, that's when I will do it. I plan on doing a series with this game, if that makes sense, and just showing you guys my progress on my restaurant. And if they keep consistently updating the game, I'll be able to, you know, breakdown updates and all this other stuff so yeah yeah so if you guys are also wondering what leveling up is for leveling up unlocks different recipes you know the more recipes you unlock the more expensive they get i've unlocked all of them which level 50 being lobster 300 dollars i don't know if like certain customers buy certain orders that i should I don't know if they like actually made that a thing or if it's not even implemented into the game. But that would be cool, like I'm guessing regular customers would go for the regular food and then celebrities would be able to afford the lobster. I think that's how it would go. The biggest thing I want to point out is I'm doing this with zero game passes. I'm not going to buy one game pass at all, mainly one, because I feel like they're all overpriced and not worth it. The only one I'm considering buying possibly in the future is Jukebox for the music and Bigger Restaurant for content wise, you know, just to expand my restaurant, make it bigger, do, you know, more decoration, more design. But like I said, not going to buy those yet. I'm going to show you guys you can like blow up in this game and be good at it without game passes because a lot of people don't realize that you don't need, you know, game passes to grow and especially simulators uh like it's it's called pay to win that's what people call it i call it pay to progress when it comes to certain simulators so this one it would probably be like pay to progress because you're just paying for you know faster you know uh yeah the starter bundle you get you know the dishwashers instead of working for them auto collect which is i guess would be somewhat worth it because you have a lot of floors but nothing else, the Royal Bundle, the Luxury, this is just my opinion though, if you want to buy it, I'm not saying, you know, buy, buy it if you want, but I don't personally see anything in here worth it. One thing that I find really cool that other games kind of haven't done, I guess, I mean they have the leaderboard, but this one is a statue, so, you know, whoever's first, which is the Butterflies person, is getting their statue displayed on, you know, every server in the game. And then what I found really cool about this over here is it displays whoever is the best in the server. So as you can see, this Naruto loser is the best in the server. So he has his statue, but soon I will be better than him and he will be a noob, so it doesn't matter. All right, guys, I will show you. So in a day, this is my time spent on the game. Like I said, no life. I've served in this time 61,000 customers. 
47,000 VIPs, 49 celebrities. I made 5 million, which isn't that much. I bought, you know, that many items, not that much. Yeah, see, count 450, I'm gonna get that up. But yeah, I don't know what the question marks mean yet. We're gonna find out. Next time. I'll, I'll figure it out, I'm sure I'll figure it out. But yo, guys, I think I covered everything I could in this game. Like I said, be sure to like, subscribe, and press the bell button to turn on the notifications. And I will see you guys in the next one.